Hello everybody, Captain Cody here from GlobalFishingReports.com. Today, we're gonna to be talking about what happens whenever you mix bleach with pee inside your boat urinals. So guys, I'm gonna talk about my personal story. I got to the boat in the morning and I noticed a really musty smell. So I was like, I better go get some bleach and bleach my head. So I went, I grabbed some bleach and i opened up my head i wasn't paying any attention but there was actually a bunch of stale pee about that level about two inches just sitting there so what i did is i dumped my bleach and whenever i dumped my bleach into the toilet bowl there i knew i made a mistake because it started fizzing and it started fizzing a lot so I was like, uh-oh. And I've been told before, don't mix bleach with pee. So what did I do? But I sat there and I cranked this handle for a few, for about 30 seconds to make the water go away. And I'm sitting in here breathing and eventually I can't take it anymore. I cleared the water out of there. So I come out here and I was coughing. <coughs> oh, that was terrible, but at least it's over, right? I didn't think much of it, but at the end of my fishing trip that day, about eight hours later, I lost my voice. And I actually lost my voice for about eight days. So I had a very irritated throat from those fumes. So I wanted to look into what exactly are those fumes, which we'll go into in more detail. So a lot of people out there say that whenever you mix bleach with stale pee, it turns into mustard gas. But what I found to be true is that it actually forms chlorine gas, which actually isn't any better. It is actually a severe irritant of your navel passageways, and it can cause nausea, dizziness, seizures, and it can actually even kill you. So you have to be very careful whenever you're mixing bleach with stale pee. All right, so chlorine bleach is actually called sodium hypochlorite, or NaOCl is its molecular formula. And what happens is whenever you mix bleach with pee, not just regular pee, but stale pee, in stale pee, the urea turns to ammonia. And then you're basically reacting ammonia with bleach. And this bleach breaks down into hydrochloric acid. And whenever you mix hydrochloric acid with ammonia, you get chloramine vapors. These vapors are basically chlorine gas. This is a very dangerous gas. It was used in World War I and World War II as poison gas. So don't mix bleach with stale pee. So I mentioned that I lost my voice after I mixed bleach with stale pee. I called one of my friends who is a doctor and I explained to her what I thought had happened and she was like, oh yeah, you have chemical pneumonitis. And I was like, chemical pneumonitis? She's like, yeah, it just means you have an irritated respiratory system and you just have to wait it out. And I looked into it a little bit more and actually gargling baking soda, which is just sodium bicarbonate. You get the stuff that's for just for baking. The only ingredient is sodium bicarbonate. If you gargle that, it actually neutralizes some of the chlorine and can help you out. So if you're in that situation, I would give that a try. Don't try swallowing a whole bunch of it or anything. Just gargle it, spit it out. I'm not a doctor, but that's what I did and it seemed to help a little bit but it still took a long time to get better and i didn't actually do that right away it actually i waited a few days to do that if you actually do it right away maybe it'll help you guys out even more but just in general guys in these marine heads there's two different settings to these toilets one of them brings water in and one of them takes water out so if you flip this handle this way that brings water in whenever you pump this handle and you flip it this way It'll take it down and we'll put that water into a holding tank or just straight out to sea, depending how you have it set up. So if you don't bring in a lot of water and you're just putting urine into that toilet every day and then you add bleach, it's going to be a dangerous situation. That's something you don't want to do. If you have a lot of diluted water and you have pee, and you're, that's not as big of a deal. But in general, my rule from now on is to never use bleach 
on a marine head. I use baking soda, I use soap, I use simple green, anything, but just never put bleach into a marine head. And lastly guys, please share this video with your friends. It's actually an important safety note. I had a captain tell me that don't mix bleach in the urinal whenever I started being a captain. It actually turned out to be very prudent in this situation. If I would have stayed down there a little longer, it could have potentially been very hazardous to my health, more so than it actually was. Also, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.